what is up guys this is Cash Freak Tim from CashFreak.com and today we are talking about how to get free topographic maps on your Garmin GPS. Now if you've recently bought a GPS you'll know that your GPS will come with one or two types of maps. One is called a base map and the second is a topographic map. Now base maps are just that. They're extremely basic and to give you an example of what a base map looks like this is a base map. It really only has, you know, main highways, state roads, shows you the edge of the state, uh, you know, show this up here, this is the lake. You know, it's extremely basic. It really doesn't give you any information. It doesn't tell you any roads below state roads, so they're really difficult to navigate by, and they're even harder to geocache by. And to give you an example of why that is, let's zoom in here on a geocache I have loaded. Let's assume we're going to go geocaching, and all we've got is the base map. And, you know, let's assume we pull into this parking lot here, and we go, oh, okay, that's, you know, that geocache isn't too far. You know, it doesn't look like it would be too difficult to get to. Uh, you know, that seems like it might even be an easy park and grab. Well, let's hop over to the topographic map, and I'll show you what kind of information comes up. Look at all that information. As you can see, a topographic map, it's going to give you all roads. It's going to give you even the smaller roads. It's going to show you rivers, streams, ponds. Uh, it's going to show you different parks. And kind of most importantly, it's going to also show you contour lines of elevation changes. You know, as you can see, between the parking area there and the geocache, there is about 80 feet of elevation change that we couldn't even tell that before when looking at our base map. You can also see if I were to go caching directly through a straight line here from my parking area to the geocache, I would even have to cross a stream. So as you can see, that you know, a topographic map is indispensable when you're hiking and geocaching. It's very important. There's no reason not to have one. So today I'm going to show you a trick on how to get free topo maps for your Garmin GPS. So you can get topo maps in one of two ways. One is your GPS can come with it. You know, to give you an example, this right here, the GPS map 62ST comes with a topo map. And you can tell that because in the model, there is a little lowercase letter T. Garmin always puts the lowercase letter T in their model number to signify the unit comes with a topo map. So you can either buy the GPS map 62S or the GPS map 62ST which is the same unit, only it comes with topo maps. And Garmin does this with m many or most of their units. Many of them come with a topo map. And the price range can vary. I've seen the price difference between the same GPS and the only difference being the topo maps anywhere from $10. I've seen it all the way up to $150 difference. You know, if it's not a big difference in price, I recommend just getting the unit with the topo maps already included. It'll just make it easier for you. They're preloaded. You don't have to worry about loading them yourself. They're already on the unit. If, if it's a big cost difference, like over $100, I would say don't worry about it. Use the trick I'm about to show you, and you'll be able to get free topo maps. Now the second way you can get topo maps is buy them or download them separately for your GPS. You know, Garmin sells topo maps for their GPS units. They cost around 100 bucks. You can get them for a little bit cheaper if you buy it on Amazon, but generally it's going to cost you around the $100 mark. So that's if you really want to pay for it, that's how you can get your topo maps. But the trick I'm going to show you is how to get very similar, if not better, topo maps for free. Now, to do this, you're going to need to download two things. One is you're going to want to download Garmin Basecamp for your computer. Now, they have this available for PC and Mac, so this trick I'm going to show you will work on either. So go ahead, download Basecamp, install it. You can get it from Garmin.com slash Garmin slash CMS slash US slash on the trail slash Basecamp. If you don't want to remember that, you don't want to write it down, just Google Garmin Basecamp. It's the first link. So download it, install it. The second place I need you to go is what is called gpsfiledepot.com. And gpsfiledepot.com is the collection of tons of topo maps for all over the world. And they're all 100% free. So what you need to do is head over to the site and look for your location. Um, I'm in Ohio, so I'm going to scroll down through my state. I'm going to find it there, Ohio. 
and that's going to show me all of the maps that are available for the state of Ohio. And as you can see, there's quite a few. And there's, if you're in a different state, I'm sure there's quite a few for your state as well. But the important column you want to look at is the topo column. So whatever you download, you want to make sure that there is a little check mark in the topo column. And there's probably a few. Um, you can kind of click each one, and it'll give you a brief synopsis of it. You know, the one I'm going to download here is called Ohio Topo Map. So go ahead, scroll down, and there's usually a Mac and Windows version of each of these as well. Download and install it. These maps are usually fairly large as well, so it may take a little bit for them to download. So download it. It'll be an .exe file if you're on Windows, so go ahead and install it. And once you do that, we can move on to the next step. Once you get the map installed, you can go ahead and open up Basecamp, and you want to plug in your GPS. Shortly after you plug it in, it should appear over here in the left-hand column. If it doesn't, you may need to reinstall the software that came with your GPS unit. So once it shows up in there, what you want to do is you want to click this little drop-down, and this will show you any of the maps you have downloaded. And you can select any of them. I'm going to select my Ohio Topo map. And then I'm going to go over to my GPS, I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to go to install maps. The map install box will pop up. You can go ahead and click next. It's asking me if it wants to automatically select the maps for me based on if I have any waypoints loaded. You can do that if you'd like if you already have a bunch of geocaches loaded. It'll kind of automatically go through and download the maps for you. I'm going to do it manually. I'm going to show you the manual way to do it. So I'm going to select no here. I'm going to click next. And the next screen that comes up shows me all of the units that are on my GPS. These are all the geocaches that I have loaded in a pocket query. And I can select any of these areas that are highlighted in yellow and install those to my GPS. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to select a few different areas. These are the topo maps I want to send to my GPS. And you can see as I do this, there's a little bar over on the right hand side. That is the memory on my GPS. Now depending on what GPS you have, you may have only as small as 24 megs of memory. If you have one of the newer GPS units that actually you can put a memory card into, you can have a lot more memory. Um, you could probably fit the entire state onto a 4 gigabyte card if your unit supports it. So again, go ahead and select a bunch of different areas that you want to load onto your GPS. Make sure you don't exceed the maximum storage. And once you get all the areas selected you want to put on the GPS, hit Next, and then hit Finish. From this point, it's going to install the topo maps onto your GPS unit. This can take a little bit. Um, depending on how many maps you have selected, this can take 10, 15 minutes. So let the map install program do what it needs to do, and once it's finished, we'll hop over to the GPS and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, now here we are at our GPS. I am using an Etrex Venture HC, so the menu system on your unit may look a little bit different. Now, one of the thing you may have to do is you may have to go down into the GPS setup and then over to Maps, and you want to go through and you want to make sure your map is selected. If it's not selected, you are only going to see the base map when you go to view the maps here in a second. So you want to go through here and you want to make sure that it is checked. Now to view our new updated topo maps, I'm going to go through here and I am going to select a geocache. And we'll go through, we'll select this one here. Pull up the map. And as our GPS loads here, you can see all of the information that now shows up. You know, now we see the rivers, we see the contour lines, we see all the roads. So I think a topo map is indispensable when you're geocaching. Now that I've showed you how to get it for free, there's no reason not to put one on your GPS. So I hope this helps you guys out while you're out there geocaching. If you have any questions about how to do this, if you ran into any roadblocks, feel free to leave me a comment in the comments section. And feel free to also check out my website, cashfreak.com. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.